Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Deluxe Whale Change Gun from Dobutsu Sentai Jyoju. This is the gun that Yamato Jyo Eagle uses to essentially use an entirely different ranger power of uh, Jyo Whale. It's like a one of those classic weapon morpher things, kind of like Geki Chopper had. Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll take a very quick look at the box first, like we usually do. Also, sorry this review is so, so late, I was just waiting for it to ship with other things. Anyway, par for the course box stuff, you can see the image right there at the front of the toy. Pretty cool shot of whale right there. Sort of shows how it works. You get one of those generic figures with it. Yippee. Um, pretty cool promo shot of whale here on the side. Another one on this side. Really cool image of his like whale symbol. It says jewel whale there in case you forgot what you're buying into. And then on the back, as per usual, just kind of shows you how it works. Advertises the mecha. Um, and then it advertises, you know... But basically, it's actually just, I just realized this because I'm an idiot, but it's using the picture of the toy to demonstrate the sounds that this will make as opposed to an actual picture of it. The coolest thing about this box, which is one of the reasons I wanted to note it, is the cool shot of all of Yamato's ranger forms, which, I don't know, it's just kind of neat. Alright, but let's get the actual Okay, so here we have the main event out of the box. Real quick, here is the little mini figure, which the camera's going to have a hell of a time focusing on you for a second because you're already just a blur without even the camera trying to attempt to focus on you. There we go. So basically, it's just like the other ones. It's just a clear one, one not clear, it's just a one colored little figure. There's little details on it which are nice, but I'm still not entirely sure whether I include these. But there you have it. So now it's on to the main event. So here we have it in its quote unquote cube mode. Obviously you can see there's still a handle on it, but this is before it's in its gun mode. Um, honestly, it looks pretty basic. It's definitely a decent size. Most definitely not the same size it is on the show itself. But still, it's a pretty decent size, and it makes you feel the, the size difference between this and, like, the normal morphers. Um, very, very basic. Basically, just the two colors, red and then the sort of dull yellow and gold. I guess it's three colors. Like, this is so dull. I just wish it was amped up a little bit to not look so dull. And, like, because it just... My, that's my main problem with this, honestly, is it just looks really basic, and it should. But it could be cleaned up a little bit to not make it look so cheap, I guess. Like, it doesn't feel cheap, but it kind of looks cheap at moments. I do really like the design here of their symbol. Uh, the camera's actually going blurry for a second. Uh, picking it up really well. It's got a nice uh, shine to it, which is cool. On the other side, it's just got this. I think it would have been really cool if this isn't even just a toy thing, but in the show, if they came up with another design for here of the other animals in sort of a collage, it could have been a really cool dual thing. Okay, so now the on-off switch is right here. You will get LED lights there in addition to the confirmation noises. Okay, so as you can see, there's a trigger here. If you press it, it'll just make a generic noise. And you can hear it spinning under there. That's the the tip of the gun which spins, you know how it is. Um, so for this mode, being cube mode, it sort of does the mecha summoning. Uh, it does this via uh, this mode right here. Uh, so, um, yank this down once and you will summon uh, the whale by itself, twice is Dodecaio, and three times is the ultimate combo. So let's go ahead and do that. So then pull the trigger to activate. Okay, so now twice. Alright, so the last one's definitely the longest noise.
So you can pretty much like binge watch a 13 episode season on Netflix by the time that's done. But yeah, so that's pretty par for the course. Basically just the same as the other Geo Changers with you know, summoning noises for the subsequent forms. Okay, so now we are going to activate it in the changer slash gun mode, and you do that by pulling this lever, and you yank it back, and it transforms, and it will yet again do a jingle, which requires you to press the trigger to activate. So let's go ahead and do this. So those are the transformation noises and the light is still up there, albeit a bit more covered. So this is the gun mode, it sort of now covers your hand when you're on the trigger. It has a pretty cool shot of the whale symbol right there. Same on the other side which sort of adds to the fact, or the reason that I want uh, another symbol on the other side in cube mode because this looks much more symmetrical I guess. And then this is obviously the nozzle slash blaster whatever that spins when you hold it and it'll make blaster noises here just the same. Now the main thing in this mode is the attack noises, so um, I mean, you hold this down, the trigger, you can't see me doing it anymore, just assume I'm doing it. Hashtag finger on the trigger. It's a toku song, it's not violent. Anyway, um, classic toku ruining everything. Anyway, I'm just getting sidetracked again by myself. Classic me. Stop being distracted, Dawson. Okay, so if you hold it down, it will make a noise, uh, sort of indicating it wants you to use the pump action. You know how it is. Um, if you do just one, it won't do much, so... If you do one and fire it, it really basically does nothing. And if you're wondering what that's saying, it says Juo Weiner. They're talking about uh, Misao. I'm just kidding, but it's true though. Okay, so this basically has two functions uh, to get serious now. Uh, so when I hold it down, I'll do the pump action three times, and that is the first attack. So. So it makes this charging noise. So. Okay, so that is the basic first attack noise with three pumps. That sounds so wrong. But um, one thing I don't like about that noise is the waiting music uh, doesn't sound like it. Like, usually when you have a waiting music or noise, you can tell, like, oh, it's waiting, it's like prompting you to press something to activate it. But this one honestly sounds like it's just about to attack. So, I don't know, it's just weird. It's something you sort of notice when you deal with toys like this for years. You just, basically, you go mad. Okay, so the next one is six. You will do six. Um pumps. Um, as, as you notice when I did three, it made a sort of activation noise and will make a further one after that, and you can't go any further past that. It honestly won't let you. Why not? First interval. I just want to point out, oh, I didn't mean to do it, uh, I just want to point out how the gorilla sound sounds like maniacal laughing, which just kind of cracks me up. Alright, I'm going to put this back because it's easier to stand. Oh, there you go. So that's pretty much about the it for this thing. Honestly, I do kind of dig it. As I mentioned at the top of the review, I think that sometimes, well all the time because it can't really change its look, it does look a little basic if not maybe a little cheap. I want to stress it doesn't feel cheap, it just kind of looks cheap if that makes any sense. But I think this is honestly a pretty solid Geodra changer that I dig. It's pretty par for the course, it's not as robust as the cube changer or as the gold one's probably going to be, but I like that all three changers have a pretty decent amount of stuff to do. Like, both this and Duo the Light have uh, a pretty solid amount of 
sounds compared to like usually you have the main changer that does a lot and then the second ones after that will do very minimal but I like that these do actually have a pretty solid variety between the summoning and attack noises which is nice and I, I kind of like the way this thing functions I really like uh, yanking it back to transform it's got a nice mechanical feel to it I kind of like the spinning it's just kind of I just kind of dig it I guess is what I'm trying to say I wouldn't say it's a knocked out of the park entry in the line that it's like a must-have for the holiday season but I think think if you're liking what you see in the show that you won't be disappointed with this. It's not like the most amazing thing ever, but I think it gets its job done and I kind of dig it. If that makes any sense. This is one of those end game like review points where I'm just like arguing with myself and I need to go before I become a problem. Anyway, until next time, make sure the crazy podcast at writersrangersrambles.com and of course don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, Dawson Writer signing out.